benediction in Roundford Church. Bless be God, bless be God, bless be his holy name, bless be his holy name. Kicking and screaming we went to Roundford Church at six o'clock of a Sunday. But where we would rather go was with Joe in his blue exotic French Peugeot lying horizontal with the lads and girls from Hollymount. Joe would pick us up, announcing as he'd go, at random stops like the big tree and for his corner. Toe to toe we'd lie, and nose to nose as Joe would slow to pick the other village crew up. Head first they'd join us in the trunk, we'd laugh and sway side to side, like bowling pins on the bend, with little care for prayer on our way to Kilmaine Hall. O oh, Mother most venerable, pray for us, said our benediction priest all meek and mild, as Joe's loudspeakered car would roar as it flew by. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. But that benediction priest had no mercy, his soul filled with mortal sin. And still he stood, we stood, he knelt, we knelt, we bowed. Altar boys never knew when to drape him in his golden cloak. St. Peter, pray for us. Or better still, pray for him who needs your intercession more. We used to watch him from our aerial view, up the spiral step in gallery as Mrs. Tui, looking strict and stern, would watch us as we'd mime the hymns. Faith of our Father's holy name, we will be true to thee till death. We will be true to thee till death. O oh Christ Jesus, get us out of here. Joe, turn your chariot around. We were not let go tonight to see the movie show and giggle loud as we watched Woody Allen in his year 2000 sex machine. And later on were forced to lie to our parents' crafty quiz. So, what was the film about? About? Oh, St Bernadette, we'd say. Or John Wayne in a cowboy show. His films were clean enough, no dirty stuff, despite the bullet hail or a hatchet chopping off an engine head or two. We said good night at haste to stop their Spanish-like inquisition. They were the Sunday evenings we looked forward to, not ones we spent at benediction in Roundford Church. I never understood why. On a fine Sunday with fun and frolics, we would be med go and bow and genuflect to that god-awful priest. Someone who, who we since found out was vile and hypocritical and us made go to see his Sunday show, prostate he'd lie, posturing in his satin shiny cape. No superhero he, as he mumbled mournful matins with crucifix aloft and we prayed only to escape. Soul of my saviour, sanctify my breast. Us thinking we'd go to hell if we thought a not so heavenly thought, like a boy you'd like to kiss, whose parents didn't make him miss the film about to play just a few miles away from this wretched evening show. Oh, mother, a perpetual sucker, pray for us. And we would stand when he would stand and kneel and together answer loud, pray for us, pray for us, pray for us. Why did we need to pray for us? We had no sins. We ate, we slept, we worked and played. And then on our only blessed free day, were forced to listen and to say things we didn't even understand. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. The Lord may open my lips and my tongue shall announce his praise. Let us praise the Saviour that really saved our souls and not with thee or thou. It was he who single-handedly and effectively fulfilled our every fantasy through friendships, film and fun. Joe that made us realise that there were great things to come for us and we loved his idiocracies as we held hands and ate our crisps. I'm sorry to interrupt this programme but next Sunday night here in Kilmaine Hall we are showing and now he's gone through heaven's gates. We stand together and shout out loud. St. Joseph Gilmer, pray for us. St. Joseph Gilmer, pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us.